Hello athletes. Today we'll be making a healthy garden salad. All right, let's start off with the ingredients. I have some lettuce. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough, but we'll see. I have a cucumber. I have some tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes, but any tomato will do. I have an onion. I have some pepper. I have some leftover turkey breast, and I have some feta cheese. Here's what we're gonna do. First thing, we're gonna cut up our lettuce, okay? I've got about, this is about half a head of romaine lettuce here, and I'm gonna cut all that up. I like to shred it nice and thin. Okay, throw that into my bowl. Next, I'm gonna make some I'm gonna cut some cucumber here. And remember, I like to leave the skin on the cucumber for the added nutrients. And don't forget to keep that cucumber fresh by peeling that plastic wrap back over and spinning the top. And I like my cucumbers to be bite-sized. So it feels comfortable in your mouth. So I'm gonna make these into cubes. So I'm gonna cut a few times this way. And a few times this way. And it just makes nice, perfect bite-sized chunks. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Now, some tomatoes here. <clears throat> these are cherry tomatoes. Any tomato will do. And again, some people like to throw these things in whole, but like I said, I like things to be bite-sized so my teeth don't have to do as much work. <laughs> All right, nice. Beauty, oh yeah. Looking good, All right. Here's my red pepper, just a few strips there. And I'll cube those guys up. And roll them in. And this is a red onion. Okay. There we go. Don't want that part. That's just the dried up skin on the outside. And we'll cube these guys up. This is looking great, looking great. All right, this is leftover turkey. Now, as you can see, I'm using raw, fresh ingredients. Try to do that more often when you're, when you're cooking, okay? You could use um, like processed meats and stuff. That's not as healthy. If you're making uh, supper the night before or we just had a holiday, so we had a, a nice big turkey, um, just cook a little bit more and then you have some fresh raw um, or fresh cooked um, meat. Um, these are raw ingredients. I could get them from a can, but raw is, is way better for your health. And again, if you aren't, uh, if you're doing the veggie thing, the meat step is optional. And last but not least is some feta cheese. Now, I didn't used to be a fan of this stuff, but I tried it and it is absolutely fantastic and the great thing about this stuff is it just it lasts forever <clears throat> inside as long as you keep it inside the liquid it just lasts for such a long time so you can get a big tub like this and you don't have to worry about it going bad now i just cut a little square off and i'm just gonna crumple that up on top oh yeah and there we have it garden salad Last but not least, we have a little bit of salad dressing here, and in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna show you how to make your own homemade salad dressing. There we go. Excellent, healthy lunch right there for you. Why don't you try?